Hi, this is Bill, and uh, this is going to be a video that's going to focus on some testing with uh, several servos that I have. Um, the servo on the left here is a uh, kind of a benchmark servo. Um, this is the Savox 1258TG. This has been around for many years. Uh, I've actually owned the servo uh, for quite some time, and uh, uh, it's been many of my vehicles and uh, I've used this in other tests in the past and uh, this is just pretty much an industry standard that most people have trusted uh, for um, uh, four-wheel drive uh, short courses and even even some e-buggies. Um, the server on the right here is actually uh, made by JX and it's a JX PDI 6121 MG and uh, I actually have two race days with the servo in a 1.8 scale uh, electric truggy uh, which is a considerably large truck and uh, it's it's been doing pretty well for me. Um, I have tested another JX uh, servo in the past and it was a, 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 um, a, a less expensive one. I think this one was $25 shipped uh, through Banggood and, um, and this one is actually a cordless servo and the difference between the cordless servo and I think the other servo I spent like $12 or $13 was that if you try to do a, a bunch of movements really back and forth it, it would want to um, pause on you where this cordless one um, has really nice smooth uh, operation now um, I do have a 6 volt BEC that I'll be running to both servos and I've got a, 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 a servo tester here that runs both servos simultaneously through the same um, harness and what I'll be doing here is some speed tests just to uh, demonstrate that the uh, Savox server, which at 6 volts is rated for 0 0.08 seconds per 60 degree, 60 degree swing and the JX servo here is rated to go um, at 0 0.13 which is almost twice as slow but wanna, you can kind of see the servo on the left is just a, a pinch slow So you can kind of get an idea uh, of what's going on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test uh, 80 ounce inches of torque on both servos where um, I've got a uh, 5 pounds of weight. These are two, two and a half pounds or 5 pound total weight tethered to a steel wire and I'm going to put it one inch off the center of, the, of each servo. So we'll go ahead and Place, place the wire in doesn't even break a sweat on that servo Ooh. try to put these at about the same height there we go now you can see the Savox is starting to, to sweat a little bit and let's go ahead and see what it is movement. You can see that the uh, Savox does get a little loud. It seems to be a little stressed. Temperature seems to be about the same on both. Um, and of course the JX servo is not even breaking a sweat. Um, so now what I want to do is now that we've got a benchmark test for that one, I've got another servo that I want to try out next. Hopefully I can reuse this wire without too much fuss. And I apologize for this taking too long, but I'm going to go ahead and remove the hardware off this JX servo and I got another one that I want to test. And this other JX servo is a as a BLS HV 7032MG servo. And this one I just got in the mail. I haven't even actually uh, put it in the car or tested it or anything yet. So this is going to be a, a, a blind test for everyone here, for you guys watching this video and for me at the same time. And 
that's actually in this package here. Comes in this nice little case. And this is actually a high voltage servo here, but it, it does have ratings for 6 volt. Comes in a solid aluminum case, uh, which is pretty nice. I think it's about the same height as the as the other servos. So yeah, they're, they're, they are the same height. One thing about the JX servos is the mounting tab is a little bit taller, so it makes the servo sink down lower, a little bit lower than the Savox servos something to keep in mind. Go ahead and put this here. Uh, I believe this is a $50 servo shit, so it's more expensive. Um, and this one actually operates at uh, the speed rating on this one on 6 volts is 0 0.09, which is uh, about the same as uh, as a Savox. And uh, but the torque rating on this on 6 volts is rated at uh, 360 ounces. And if you put it on high, on high voltage. Uh, which I'd like to do here in a minute. It's ready to go up to 450 ounces. Now if I could just get this horn to get on there. And I'll drive a screw in. Pretty, pretty close if you ask me. So now what I want to do is let's go ahead and do some load ratings with the brushless servo on the right. Certainly not having any glitching, not even making any sound with the weight. Oh, I know it's, I know it's a Same 80 ounces. As you can see, it's certainly not breaking a sweat. So, this brush of servo looks very promising to me. Um, Actually, one thing I, I can do is, is go ahead and test this on high voltage. Not sure why this. There we go. Kind of quiet down the save box. It's a pretty loud servo. So now I'm going to try and do is run this servo on high voltage. And on high voltage, it's supposed to get to 0.07. So let's see if we can't get the sucker up. And I'm, I'm now running directly off of 8.4 volts. And it should get up to 0 0.07 degrees per swing. Let's see what happens here. Oops, got these wires in the way. So now the servo on the right should go a little faster. It's hard to tell. It's point, point oh 0.07, point oh 0.08. They look almost identical to me. So point, point oh 0.07 at 450 ounce inches for $50 shipped through Banggood. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and test this servo out this weekend in my in my 1.8 Truggy, and we'll go from there. Uh, look for more updates. Um, on the link to this video and we'll see you guys on the forums. Thanks for watching.